Hey everyone, it's Elo. I hope that you're doing well. Um, today's video is going to be just kind of fun, I hope, and a little more relaxed than a lot of my videos are, I guess, if I can manage that. Um, I'm going to be doing my first haul slash try on video and I'm really excited. Um, I've done a couple haul videos before but mainly with things that I've already had since I don't have a lot of spare money to do shopping and I just don't go shopping a lot um, except for for groceries I'm big on food but in terms of like clothing and things that would actually be interesting to show you um, I don't do that often I think actually the only time I have done a haul video was like two years ago. I can't believe it's been that long, but I was job hunting um, and I was brand new to the city where I've lived now this whole time and I had gone to a sort of department store called Kohl's and gotten some outfits that I thought would be appropriate for job hunting. Um, I don't think I had even gotten that job yet. Fast forward all this time, uh, I don't, I got the job, but I didn't keep it. I think I stayed there for like nine months before um, I left. And here we are again, and I don't have a job right now. <laughs> Um, just freelance editing at the moment. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I guess the point is that I didn't buy business attire this time. I bought um, stuff that I like and that's part of what's made this really exciting for me is that it's been such a long time since I have purchased anything for myself that I like, that I think is cute, that I can wear around. Um, and as far as the cute part goes, I would say I've never really um, shopped for myself for things that I think are more feminine and even maybe sometimes sexy. I have been really conservative for most of my life especially I guess it was just aided by the fact that um, I was mainly a tomboy growing up and I didn't really have any strong sort of feminine figures in my life so I never really got into um, the more feminine side especially rising up through my 20s I've never really owned but like maybe one outfit that I consider to be more on the like provocative or sexy side. And even then it's probably pretty conservative um, to most people. So these things aren't scandalous, but they're definitely outside of the wheelhouse that I would normally buy because they are pretty markedly feminine, at least in their coloring. Um, and some of the cuts. So even though this might not seem like a big deal for many people, for me it is and it was really fun to just kind of shop for myself and um, big shout out to my boyfriend's older brother who gave me the gift card that I used to buy all these things because I did not, I would not have been able to afford this stuff on my own. So um, I'm kind of glad though and proud of myself that I went ahead and bought some pieces that I like without worrying what other people might think of me. And that's another, I guess, fun part of this video slash nerve wracking part is um, I've always kind of strayed away from doing the try on videos because I don't have a whole lot of self-confidence with my body image and I know that that might sound strange to some people especially because 
objectively I'm not I, like I'm pretty average sized so I don't have any like major disfigurations I have all my limbs and all my fingers and toes and I feel really lucky for all of that um, it's just sometimes I still get that little voice in my head from being bullied because I was more overweight uh, growing up for most of my life and I did get teased and made fun of a lot and even though it's been 20 years you know um, or 15 to 20 years depending it still is hard and maybe some of you are nodding along um, it can be really hard to rid yourself of those kind of negative thoughts and feelings and worries um, and people can be really cruel even on the internet nowadays and when you see them like fat shaming or um, calling someone ugly that you think looks better than you or is pretty or is skinnier than you or whatever it just kind of makes you think like okay well what would they say about me um, so it's already a step out of my comfort zone to even be on camera and to be publicly posting so much of myself and my life to YouTube but I'm doing it for a good cause I think I've been enjoying it and the community you guys that I've grown here you guys are so awesome <laughs> and you know I've only had like a couple comments that have been upsetting and for the majority, I would say that's been like 0.1%. The majority of my experiences with you all have been really lovely. So I'm hoping that this will be another good experience. And yeah, <laughs> can you tell I'm nervous? Um, anyhow, so I have here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six six pieces that I bought. Um, one of them is a pair of shorts and the other five are tops. And then I also bought a little necklace set that I'm going to show you. And I've never actually watched a whole try on video. I've always had my reservations about that and I tend to prefer role plays and personal attention for the most part. Um, so I don't know how this is exactly supposed to go. I'm a little nervous because I chose to use my lapel microphone, as you can see, um, which is great, but it has a wire. So I'm going to try to thread the mic through the various tops and clothes. I might have to hold it for some, um, so that it's not completely in the way but I just don't really have any other equipment option that would make sense for doing something like this um, and I guess I'm just gonna go through one at a time and I'll try on the piece I'm gonna back up I have a little step stool here since I'm kind of short <laughs> okay <laughs> to show the outfit um, and right now we are starting with what I've had in my closet. This is one of my favorite outfits to wear over the summer, even though it's pretty simple. These shorts are by a brand called Celebrity Pink, and I got them actually at the same store that I got all the rest of this stuff, which is called TJ Maxx. If you don't have that where you live, it's a standalone kind of department store, uh, maybe a little smaller than an average department store. It's one story and it's split into sections. I would say it's pretty female dominated in terms of clothing, but there's also a home type section in the back that has some food, towels, pillows, a little bit of furniture, bathroom accessories, just cooking supplies, various things that you might want for around your house. And 
and of course candles. <laughs> um, there's also a little children's section with clothes and toys and then a men's and boys section which is usually the smallest part of the store. Um, but they carry a number of different types of brands that are usually things um, that maybe didn't sell as many as they had produced or you can get name brand things there is what I'm saying. It's not all just like off-brand stuff. A lot of it's actually really nice. Um, so it's one of my favorite places to shop because the prices are affordable. Um, the gift card that I had was $100 and I was able to buy five shirts, a pair of shorts, and a necklace. So I think that kind of speaks for itself. Those are pretty good prices, at least in America where I live. Um, okay, so the reason why I really love this outfit that I'm wearing right now is because the shorts are very comfortable. For the longest time, I only wore jeans. Um, even throughout the summer, I was very self-conscious because I have sort of larger bottom half and when I was growing up that wasn't desirable. It was all about having larger upper half. So I've really liked the fact that the tides have turned and it's now desirable to have a thicker bottom half because that's how I've always been. Um, and it's taken years for me to feel comfortable in a pair of shorts. And these were really the first ones that I was like, okay, I feel good in these and I like the color. They're kind of like an off green, almost a faded mint. Um, I like the pockets on the back. I'm not a fan of bedazzling. Um, I like a plain pocket and I find, pro tip, that a smaller pocket or like just a slit like you would find um, on the back of a boy's khaki pant usually is most flattering if you have a shapely bum. <laughs> Um, I find that longer pockets are, they make your butt look longer and more narrow. And while I don't have the biggest butt in the world, it is kind of more rounded in shape. Um, so I like to obviously flatter that by getting these smaller-ish pockets if I can. I don't like the ones that cover the majority of your butt. <laughs> Um, so they're very comfortable. The only kind of downside is that the folded part here that makes this little cuffed detail is not hemmed in. So after I wash them, it's often kind of falling apart and I have to kind of tuck it back into place and over time it flattens out. but. It's not perfect all the time, but that's okay because neither am I. <laughs> and in terms of this top, um, this was, I think my mom purchased this for me as most of my more feminine, bright colored clothing um, came from her. Uh, little escapades to Target, which, you know, I'm thankful that she was trying to look out for me. Um, and definitely thankful for this shirt. I wear it way too much. This is the shirt for me, especially over the summer. It has this bibbed sort of look at the top, which I love because it means I don't have to wear a bra, <laughs> which, let's be honest, when it's 99 degrees outside, um, I'm sorry, I'm an American. I don't know how to translate that to Celsius, but it's hot and it gets really humid where I live. So not having to wear an undergarment is like a huge relief sometimes. And obviously since I'm a little more on the conservative side, 
historically, um, it can be difficult for me to make that decision. But the shirt, I really don't feel like I'm drawing too much attention to myself, so I never feel uncomfortable. Obviously, I chose it to wear in front of all of you, so I just don't feel uncomfortable um, in it, even though I'm not wearing an undergarment. Um, it's still fine by me. So it's also got this nice wavy texture, so if I'm, you know, scarfing down a bunch of Mexican food and full-on pina coladas, I can not worry that my little bloated belly is going to be <laughs> poking out. It's very flowy and I think flattering in general. I also like the high line in the back and the generally short um, straps because I have a very small and narrow shoulders. Um, so having these shorter straps, even though they're not adjustable, they actually fit me, which is awesome. <laughs> um, so this was Target, and I was thinking the shorts were TJ Maxx, but as I was talking, I think I may have purchased them at Macy's. Anyway, this is about the most feminine outfit in my closet right now that's not a dress. Um, I have one top that has been in some of my videos. It's a purple v-neck t-shirt from Victoria's Secret and that's probably the other most feminine shirt that I have, I think. So anyway, there was my preamble. This is just to show you a typical, not typical I should say, but the outfit that I've enjoyed the most and wished that I could have more of. Um, I don't know about you, but oftentimes when I rummage in my closet to get ready, I find that I wear like the same four things over and over and it gets a little disheartening because I want, I'm at a point now in my life where I want to wear things that I'm more happy about. So let's get started on some of my new finds. This is the first piece. It's very, very soft and stretchy, which immediately I was attracted to. As someone who is autistic, I love clothing that doesn't bother me in a sensory kind of way. Um, and having something that's soft like this, as opposed to a more scratchy fabric, is amazing for me. Not that I can't handle it, but I like clothes that aren't on my mind um, as I'm going about my day, and this certainly won't be. The brand is called Caution to the Wind, and the shirt was $7.99, which in America, tax is not figured in to the price that they write on the tag, so it would have actually cost a little more, $8 and some change. and throw this on. Okay, so uh, this shirt is, like I said, very, very comfortable. I hope that I'm holding this in a good spot, but the neck line, as you can see, is quite high, so didn't want to be blowing up anyone's ears putting the microphone that close. Um, the scandalous for me part of this shirt is that it is a little bit of a crop top, which is not something I have ever purchased for myself. Um, but I do like the way that it kind of hangs openly, and there's just a little bit 
of midriff showing, especially when I'm wearing these shorts, which are a little more high-waisted. They're not technically a high waist, but they do, as you can see in the bag, come up pretty far. And I like that the shirt kind of comes down a little bit lower in the back to the pant line. And stays just a tiny bit above in the front. I do have my belly button pierced, so I guess it would be cute to wear something a little taller sometimes, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> I'm taking baby steps. So, um, yeah, I think in the past I've kind of strayed away maybe from stripes because I know that stripes allegedly make you look bigger, but I don't think that's always true. Um, and I think that these stripes being colored and kind of fine are really cute. Um, I feel like I would love to pair this top and these shorts with like a really bright white sneaker. Um, or maybe a pink or blue that matches the stripes in the shirt if I didn't do that. Um, also, I would probably, instead of these white glasses, I would most likely wear these blue ones. I think that going with a darker frame when you have some color going on can be better, at least for my kind of eyes. Um, having lighter colored eyes, I like to provide contrast with them whenever I can. Uh, so, yeah, this is probably the look at its final place for me. Um, I also think it would be cute to have like maybe a gold necklace that comes down right about to here. Maybe something cute like an umbrella or an anchor, you know, something classic. I could also see doing like a name um, necklace like Carrie Bradshaw wears in Sex and the City. Uh, or instead of doing a necklace, doing some hoop earrings, I think would be really cute too. Um, I'm, I'm not... I don't have a whole lot of jewelry, so I don't always have the ideas right off the top of my head for what to do in that sense. Um, same with, I mean, I do have a lot of pairs of shoes that I've collected over the years, mainly because I can't throw them away. I just always feel so bad <laughs> to toss them. But I feel like I never have the shoes that I want for the outfit that I'm trying to wear, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so these are just ideas that I'm coming up with. They're not based on anything that I actually own, usually. Um, but yeah, if I could finish this out, I'd probably do a little necklace and some bright white sneakers and be happy with that. I also would probably want to do fringe braids in my hair instead of this um, big old bun, which is kind of one of my signature hairstyles that I wear pretty often. And I debated if I should wear my hair up or down for this video, um, but I went with up so that we can really see the clothing. So, all right. Um, next up is going to be just a sort of plain greenish uh, teal maybe shirt that has a little breast pocket and there's nothing really interesting or provocative about this one whatsoever. It's not super outside of my comfort zone except for the fact that it's um, a lighter color. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that on. Okay, so this shirt is by a brand that I had never heard of, actually, called Sacred Olsen. And the back says 
live softly on the earth. Nice little cardboard sentiment that was pinned to the shirt. And like I said, this isn't anything too dramatic. Um, it does have this cute little pocket on the side and it does have sleeves that are cuffed, just like my shorts. But these ones are actually hemmed into place, so I don't have to worry about them unrolling, which is nice. I like this shirt because it's soft again, stretchy, and kind of actually makes my top look bigger than I feel like I am, uh, or than some other shirts make me look, um, which can't complain about that, I guess. <laughs> I think that it's hemmed pretty nicely. Um, I guess I could look smaller than this shirt makes me look if it was pulled in some, but like I said, sometimes when you're just out having a good time or going out to dinner or lunch or something, I'm, I guess I'm not comfortable enough with my body to want something really, really form-fitting all the time at this point. I feel like I'm still working towards the shape that I want, um, and I do go running and lift weights and ride my bike, um, but, you know, progress is slow and sometimes I have a few days where I'm feeling a little down and maybe I don't eat as healthy as I should, so um, it's been a long journey for me even to get to this point, and I feel pretty good about myself right now. Um, I'm like, if you're wondering, um, I'm five foot three, and I'm about 135 pounds right now, although usually I'm around 130 when I'm really at my best. Um, I haven't been feeling great these past couple weeks, so... I've eaten one too many Twix and honey buns and <laughs> things that I shouldn't eat. Um, but yeah, working on that, getting back down. Um, I'd really love to be down to like 125 maybe. I think that then I would feel more comfortable. Um, and of course I wish that I could just take that weight from target areas of my body, but that's not how it works. So I actually don't know what I would look like in the 120s. Um, I don't know where that weight would fall from because I've never been lighter than 130 pounds um, as an adult. Really, even as a kid, I was, I was overweight. So um, yeah, I just think that a t-shirt like this is something that you can wear anytime and be comfortable. And I would probably pair this shirt with my orange glasses just for a little more of like a beachy look. And I actually have um, another pair of shorts in my drawer right there that are khaki colored. And I think that the orange glasses and the khaki shorts with this teal colored shirt um, and then I actually do have a pair of shoes that would go great with this outfit they are low top converse and they have this same kind of mint green mixed with a cream color um, of koi fish all over them and then the soles actually have an orange stripe. I didn't think about that, but that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, voila, that would be my outfit. Um, if I was wearing this out on a walk or just hanging out somewhere casually, um, none of these things are really formal outfits. So, okay, let's see what's next. 
And in case you're wondering, these are the only three pairs of glasses I have. Um, they are prescription eyewear, but I bought them online, as I was telling one of my viewers just recently. And they were all like $8 a piece, uh, maybe $12 including the prescription, because they were on clearance sale. And the internet is amazing. <laughs> so, I'm just going to cut the tags from this next shirt. Which is by Rachel Zoe. I would say Zoe, but there are no accents over the E, so I assume it's just Zoe. This is maybe my favorite shirt that I bought, um, other than. I don't know. I like them all, but this one I feel really cute in, and um, I also have never owned such a vibrant piece of clothing. Um, most of my clothing is dark in itself, but my sort of lighter um, pieces are never this vibrant, and the sun is shining in, so now you can really see it's it's bright. Um, so yeah, and I actually think that this shirt might go best with um, the pair of shorts that I bought. So for this little wardrobe change, I'm gonna also put on my new shorts. Which are, oop, is there another? Yep. I hate it when they put these plastic pieces in places where you can't really get out the, the other side. I feel like they're just always going to be sticking me. These are the shorts that I bought. They are my first ever pair of black shorts, which is kind of funny since I have almost exclusively black tops. It's got these little fibers in the back that probably once also held a tag. Out real quick, if I can. Not cooperating. Okay. On the other side. And I would always say, I don't know why this is coming to me. It's like my mom's voice just telling me. Um, I think it's. I've at least been taught that it's pretty important to always cut instead of ripping tags off of things um, in terms of clothing because you can create a little tear in the fabric or in the seaming of the clothing and later on down the road after a couple washes even if it's not a problem right away, it can um, ruin your new article of clothing. So I always try to be cautious about using scissors on everything instead of just yanking tags out like I used to. Um, so these shorts are actually American Eagle, um, which I don't know if they're global or not, but they're a pretty popular standalone brand that has its own um, brick and mortar stores in a lot of malls in America. Um, but like I said, sometimes overflow ends up at TJ Maxx where I was shopping and this is um, an overflow piece. 
but there's nothing wrong with them. They don't have any defects and they fit well. Um, they're a little stretchy through the waist and they do have the pocket style that one of the two pocket styles that I prefer, which is what I was talking about um, on men's khakis where you just have this line with maybe a button but no other embellishment for the back pockets and I also appreciate that the front pockets are deep enough to actually hold a phone or something um, the current pair of shorts that I have on forget about it, you can't fit anything into these pockets um, they are tiny so um, I think that the black is going to contrast nicely with the very bright pink of this shirt so give me a moment and I will try this on okay, so here we are I'm going to change these glasses right away I guess to the dark blue Because, like I said, I really like making that contrast with whatever top that I'm wearing to make my eyes stand out a little more. Um, so, here we go. This shirt is super cute, in my opinion. Um, it's got this little tie-in feature at the bottom that's already like that. I didn't have to make it like that. It's intentional. And it has a little keyhole that actually, if I raise my arms up and whatnot, um, shows a little, tiny little bit of skin, which is cute, I think. Um, these shorts have a very similar fit to the ones that I was just wearing. Uh, they even have a little cuff at the bottom, like the last ones from the back. I have that slim pocket that I think is good for people who have a more rounded booty. And the shirt is really flowy and comfortable. And even though it doesn't have a pattern or anything like that, it's still very attention grabbing. <laughs> because it's such a strong color. Um, but I think it's a cute little summertime look and I would probably wear flip-flops or maybe black flats or some kind of cute sneaker could look good with this too. A bright white sneaker or maybe gray would look good. Um, I don't know. And I'd probably actually stick with the earrings that I have on now, unless I had ones that were a little design or something, um, but I would definitely go for studs just because you've already got something draping and I don't like having too much going on. That's just me. Um, some people can pull that off and look amazing, but I'm definitely on the more simple side when it comes to makeup, accessories, everything. Um, and maybe I'll evolve in time with that, but for now, that's how it is. Um, I think a bracelet or some rings could look good with this, too. And, yeah. I don't know. I just really love this shirt. I think it's really cute and definitely is one of the ones that makes me feel the most feminine, I guess, just because of the color and maybe the detailing. Um, I actually kind of almost remind myself of Greece for some reason, like they had their shirts tied like this sometimes, <laughs> um, the little movie musical, if you're not familiar, uh, watched it a lot growing up, so I don't know, it has that kind of older vibe and I just dig it, I think it's cute. Um, I don't actually know if there's another color, I think maybe my khaki shorts would look okay with this, but I definitely think the black makes the pink stand out the most, um, which is kind of cool. 
Oh, and as you can see, this shirt has a button detail going down the front. Um, but that's just decorational. The shirt doesn't actually open at all. It's sewn together. So, and I had to kind of pin the mic in the V part of it, but it does have a little V-shaped neck that um, sits quite nicely, I think. So, okay. All right, let's see what's next. <laughs> save the patterned one for last. This next shirt is by a brand called Max Studio. And similarly to the Sigrid Olsen shirt, it is not particularly flashy in any way. continue telling you the prices of things, but the one I'm wearing is the most expensive one, I think. That was $13. And let's see, the one I'm about to try on is $10. Actually, one of them was $15. I don't know which one. <laughs> Maybe the Sigrid Olsen one, because um, it's made out of a really nice material. This one is a little less um, soft. It's still comfortable, but you can tell that the quality of the fabric isn't as nice. It also doesn't have the detailing of the cuff on the side. It's just a simple stitch, which is fine. I have sort of recognized that I prefer either a high circular neck or a v-neck for myself. I don't think that a boat neck or a low scoop neck is particularly flattering on me. Um, so following that form, this one is a v-neck as well. And let's try it on. Okay, so I really like the blue color that this one is. I think that it tapers a little bit more. Um, I tend to have, I don't tend to have, I do have a smaller sort of true waist area. A lot of people think that this is your waist, but these are your hips and your waist is the narrower section. I kind of, I guess right below your rib cage maybe around that area. So um, whenever you're taking measurements, this is your bust, this is your waist, these are your hips, where your pants sit, usually. Um, so, these kind of shirts can be flattering for me because I, for my height, I actually have a really long torso. Um, the area from my bust to my hips is not as compressed as it usually is on someone my height. So um, that being said, since I do have a high and smaller true waist area, when the shirt tapers like that, it really shows off more of the hourglass type uh, figure that is nice to have. Um, and Again, this one has a breast pocket in the same place as the other one, which I would never actually use for anything, but it's a cute detail. And I think the fit is pretty flattering. Again, it's a smaller fit than the Sigrid Olsen shirt, which was definitely more flowy. Um, but I still don't feel uncomfortable in this shirt. I don't feel like it's too tight. And I do like the v-neck and when the lapel microphone's not here, it has like the fabric kind of sits over itself, which I like. 
um, quite a bit. So I think that this shirt also is like the perfect shade of blue to go with either my mint green shorts for something a little more whimsical or these black shorts for like a pop of color or my khaki shorts even for a more kind of nautical look. Um, I think white sneakers would look really cute with this. I also have my favorite pair of shoes is a pair of purple Pumas, which I think would look good with this too since it's just a brick color and there's not a lot going on. Um, because of the pocket, which kind of makes it more casual, I wouldn't really want to do fancy necklaces or anything. I might do like a choker style necklace. Um, or maybe go crazier with the earrings instead. Um, or maybe do neither and just do bracelets and rings. That would be cute too. I guess it just depends on where I would be going, what the event would be, what the occasion would be. And also think that any of the three pairs of glasses that I have could go nicely with this shirt as well, just depending on what kind of vibe I wanted to have, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is the penultimate shirt. We have one more, and I think it's really cute, so here it is. This is going to be one of the few pattern shirts that I have. <laughs> and I think it has a really, I don't know if you guys do this, but I kind of always think of like a story almost um, when I see clothing. Not intentionally, but you know, clothing just kind of gives you a feel or a thought about, okay, what is what do I do in this shirt, or what is this shirt um, represent? Who wears this kind of shirt, and what's their attitude? And I think that clothing, you know, it's a very forward form of self-expression, as I'm learning. Um, I used to just put on clothes, mainly band t-shirts, to represent the kind of music that I liked. Um, but now that I'm not wearing as many band t-shirts, why not show more of what I like and use clothing as personal self-expression of my mood and my attitude and sort of, I don't know, I think you can really actually influence your outlook and your perspective on the day based on what you choose to wear. Um, and before it used to be like a really no-brainer type of situation for me. I would either choose a band that I felt connected to that day or put on the most comfortable oversized band t-shirt that I had and pretty much wear the same pair of jeans every day. So it was really more about the music than and comfort than style in any sense of the word. So I don't know. It's just fun to like see something like this and I feel like the girl who wears this kind of shirt is soft and gentle and more sweet and shy and might have a nice, I don't know, country kitchen home and cook a nice breakfast for her family, thick strips of bacon. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I just like imagining that the associations I have with any given piece of clothing have a meaning now in some way. Not that it's insanely deep or anything. I'm not trying to sound corny, but um, I just want to be able to set a good vibe and attitude for myself instead of just sort of treating myself and my body like I don't matter and like I don't 
deserve to have any cute stuff or to feel cute. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why I really love autumn and fall so much is because I really connect with the styles that are prominent those times of year. I love the dark colors, the auburn, maroon, um, rich purples and reds and greens, um, tapered pants and leather boots and things. Like, I just love all of it. I love the sweaters. I love the beanies. I love those boots that I don't have where they fold out and they look plaid even though they're not. And I mean, just, I want all of the clothes <laughs> for that season. Um, and I don't really have like a summer vibe, I guess, because I've just always locked myself in these really terrible outfits, um, out of fear. So why is that all coming up with this shirt particularly? I guess because it just seems so gentle and, you know, it's this cream color with these really soft flower print that kind of reminds me of my Grammy and, um, I don't know, I guess it just represents the kind of person that I feel like I want to be. Someone who's just loving and kind and gentle and not very abrasive. Um, so obviously as soon as I saw this shirt, I knew I wanted to try it on and I was like hoping, hoping, hoping that it fit and looked good and I think it does and it's by Lucky Brand. Um, I am wearing a black bra, so it will probably show through this, but I actually kind of like that look. Often that's one of the things I do when I'm wanting to feel a little bit better about myself is I'll wear a darkly contrasting bra with a lighter shirt because I think it's an easy way to kind of add a layer of mystique or sex appeal or whatever. Um, all my opinion, by the way. I should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video that I have no idea what I'm talking about. All of this <laughs> is just based on my own feelings, opinions, thoughts. Um, I have no sense of style, probably, and I don't read beauty magazines. I only put makeup on this part of my face. I don't have a whole lot going on for me in the girly realm, but I'm building that right now, so please um, bear with me and show a little bit of mercy um, if you think that I sound absolutely insane or dumb. Um, I'm just learning, so we all gotta start somewhere, right? Um, I'm actually also gonna slip back on my mint shorts with this look because I think that the black shorts are too harsh uh, for the shirt. Give me one minute. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hold the microphone on this one again because this neck is actually really high and it's kind of tight getting over my noggin too. Whenever I have my hair up like this, it kind of smushes it, but that's all right. Um, okay. And as you can see, I already changed my glasses to the navy ones to provide that contrast and also because this pattern does have um, navy colors in the flowers so it contrasts but it also matches um, so yeah this is that shirt and I feel every bit as great as I want to in it um, it calms me I guess and it's really rare for me to buy something, I mean, really all of this stuff is really rare for me to buy as I kind of explained at the beginning, but especially something this soft and gentle, I've always kind of seen myself as more of a hardened type of person and my clothes have reflected that, so this is certainly the 
pièce de résistance. And as you can see, it's very simple, just a t-shirt cut. There's nothing, no patterns, no um, cuffs, nothing crazy, no weird hemlines. It's just a normal t-shirt and I absolutely love it. So I think I would really like to wear a darker shoe with this. Um, probably like a navy blue sneaker or something like that would be my first choice and I would like to wear like a little I'm really into petite necklaces <laughs> I like ones that sit high up on the throat but I also like a sort of middle range one with whatever the artwork is something small um, I just think that they make you look more I don't want to keep repeating the word, but just kind of gentle and delicate. Um, whereas having a big chunky necklace is more of like a statement piece. Uh, not that those, not the people who wear those aren't gentle or delicate or lovely, but I just think that for my aesthetic that I'm feeling these days, I really prefer the sort of tiny jewelry. <laughs> At least for necklaces. I still really love chunky rings um, and I'm a mixed bag when it comes to bracelets. Um, I also think this look could be nice with like a sandal and an anklet or a toe ring or something. Um, I would definitely rock that and I would probably wear my hair down ideally with this one. So, Okay well I didn't think this through because I still have to show you um, this necklace, so I'm going to try to not ruin this shirt, but gather some of the fabric here. Hopefully that's not making a crazy noise. And show you, this is a cute little box. Please excuse my fingernails for the next couple weeks. They are growing back after having those false nails on there for so long. They're in quite a state of disrepair. So this is by a brand called Devon Rose, as you can see. I love the angled box that it comes in. And I really love box sounds, generally speaking. And it's got a little twisted up. my glasses for distance, so I set them to the side for the moment. This necklace is kind of comprised of two little pieces there, um, the star and the half or crescent moon, which I think is really cute. Um, they certainly don't look real in any way. If you get really close, you can see that the, let me see if I can get this to focus. The diamonds, oh, you know, fake diamonds, and they are really um, crusty looking, like they're not clean, clear looking. Um, you can tell that they're quite fake, but that's not really the point. I just think from a distance, this will be a cute little kind of layover piece um, for a lot of the shirts that I have. And I think I would have preferred it to be in gold, but it was a good deal, and I think it'll be cute over a lot of the darker shirts that I have too, so I kind of just have to find pieces as I go and um, put them together later because I really don't have much of a, a 
true wardrobe. I guess in that sense. Um, anyhow, that is all that I have to show you. I hope that I didn't ramble too much about things that were uninteresting. Um, I tried to stick mainly on target to the clothing and I'm going to be very interested to watch other people's haul and try on videos after I have filmed this one completely um, on the fly and not knowing what the sort of etiquette is for this kind of video. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how different or not different I did it on my own accord and of my own imagination. So, um, sorry if this is incredibly immature in terms of the production quality. I do my best here. <laughs> um, I also wish that I could have had the light sort of coming at a different angle, but just based on the configuration of the room, this was kind of the only way that I knew to do this. So, I hope that this was enjoyable and relaxing and maybe showed you a little bit more of my personality. Um, I know that I tend to come off as a bit more serious in my channel, in my videos. I think that I've been worried about doing a good job, um, in some cases getting my point across, in other cases I'm just concerned about um, helping, and I know in my role plays I tend to try to be really professional because I know that that's what I enjoy when I'm consuming ASMR. So it's more rare for me to do something that's more casual like this and um, not as concerned with making any sort of point whatsoever. Um, so I hope that I did an okay job of just sort of letting go and trying to just enjoy what I was doing. Hopefully it wasn't too scatterbrained like I was saying. Um, anyhow, you can let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this kind of video, I would be happy to do it again. Although, like I said, I don't really get the opportunity to go shopping often, so it would probably have to be around Christmas time, maybe, if I get some Christmas money. Um, or, fingers crossed, I've been applying for some jobs that would really stabilize me and um, put me on my feet since, you know, as much as I would love to do full-time ASMR still, um, I just don't make enough to sustain uh, anything other than producing the ASMR itself at this point. So. Um, thank you guys, no matter what, for being here, for subscribing, for watching, for just leaving a nice comment uh, every once in a while, whatever it is. I just really appreciate you guys and um, thank you for making me feel safe enough and comfortable enough to do a video like this where I'm trying on clothing <laughs> and talking about it and showing my body. Um, more so than I usually do. So, yeah, just thank you. You guys are magic, and it's really cool. And I will see you in the next video.